I can just do that and then uninstall un and it'll work the same. Yeah, just oh. you know, a lot of people like to have less apps. So obviously nice. you don't have to do this, there's no pressure. Now that I've uh, kind of set, set this oh, up. Oh wow, I feel bad, man. No, no, no. All right, everyone, I'm here with Tyler from Superbase. And as you can tell, this is also a slightly different studio. I've been here in Japan for about a week for the Raycast events and the hackathon that we did alongside Superbase, Versa, Anthropic and AWS. The hackathon was great, wasn't it? Man, the hackathon so many great projects. We've known Superbase and people from Superbase for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, we even used Superbase in some of our projects. Right. But we've not actually done a What's in My Raycast I know. with anybody from We haven't Superbase. done anything across Superbase and Raycast, right? Now we've done the hackathon. Right, right. So that, that was the first. That was that's the first. one item yeah. of the list. I'm really curious to see how you use Raycast uh, your job is in many ways similar to mine. Mm -hmm. I think we have a massive overlap yeah, certainly. of the things we do, mm -hmm. content, community, some educational material. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, why don't you do a little intro, man? Yeah, yeah, certainly. Yeah, so hey guys, I'm Tyler from Superbase. I'm a DevRel engineer at Superbase. Basically, I talk to a bunch of developers. I create content for developers, basically advocating Superbase. And Superbase is a Postgres developer platform. So every single Superbase project come with a Postgres database. And around that Postgres database, we provide auth, storage, edge functions, all these features that uh, are essential for getting started with app development. So you can just use Superbase and bring in your favorite front-end framework or whatever uh, you know uh, tool that you use, Raycast, uh, and create a fully-fledged application on top of it. I feel like when you take on a role like this mm -hmm. of developer advocacy or developer experience or DevRel, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever you want to call it, it does require this kind of um, um, interest and yeah. passion to share with others what you know. Mm -hmm. You do a great job sharing little tips about Superbase because, you. as you know, when you're trying to teach people stuff, especially when you know a product so well, mm -hmm. like you know Superbase inside out, mm -hmm. there's a lot of things that's easy to take for granted. Mm -hmm. And Superbase can do a lot of things now, mm -hmm. right? Like it's getting more and more powerful. Yeah, yeah. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Raycast. It's mm -hmm. like it's one product that can do so many things. Right. And I take so many things for granted. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, even like the simplest little tip, mm -hmm is the one that like people like the most. Mm -hmm. We take it for granted, like, man, everybody must know about this feature. Right, right. But a lot of the times people don't know. Yeah. So that's the yeah. importance of like repeating yourself. Exactly. And sharing, like constantly sharing these daily little tips. Yeah. So right. I think this is a good moment to uh, sort of share your screen. Yeah, yeah. And let's see what's in your Raycast. Yeah. All right, so why don't you start by yeah. just, you know, launching Raycast. Sure. So, yeah, basically just command space, launch it. There you go. Yeah, and I see here that like um, <laughs> I didn't complete you haven't completed <laughs> your uh, walkthrough yet, which is something that a lot of I, do a lot of people complete it? No, a lot of right, people okay, okay. still have it there. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. you'd be surprised. Yeah, yeah. Here you can do command K to oh. dismiss the walkthrough. I did not there you know go. that. Wow. So okay. now you have a bit more uh, right, right. more room for things that nice. actually matter. Looking at here, like mm -hmm. now we, we see Raycast, obviously we see the suggestions. Mm -hmm. um, you have a marketing calendar, which is the very interesting. Superbase marketing calendar okay. is basically, this is just a quick link. Quick link. Yeah. And uh, it's funny because we have a, what we call a content calendar. Ah, same where, idea. Same idea. Yeah, like yeah. Bruno and I and Inga, we usually use the content calendar to... Mm -hmm just like plot down all of the exactly. things we're launching. So which, I, I love to see this video is going to go out <laughs> and whatnot. Yeah. I want to talk about this uh, Twitter tabs. Twitter so tab, what's that? This one, this one's a custom extension that I created. Okay. Wow, right? we're so, jumping straight into extensions. I like this. Yeah, yeah. We have four tabs here, right? The yeah. one, the first one is this Twitter Pro. The second one is my um, Twitter profile. And then here I have the Raid on oh, it, so, okay. Okay. so it just cool. opens it up. And then here's, here's Claude for me to kind of uh, talk back and forth, kind of brainstorm some new ideas. Okay. Um, so, wow. so this set of tabs is something that I want to open. And I know there are Raycast extensions that do this. There's, I don't know that, I don't remember the name, but there are Raycast extensions that opens a set of uh, tabs that you 
um, specify. Mm -hmm. The reason why I created this custom extension was because those custom extensions that are out there, you had to first select, I think it was like multi tabs or something. You select that extension and then you select which set of tabs you want to open. So you have okay. to kind of hit return twice. This is a standalone Raycast extension that is fixed at opening these tabs. Yeah, okay, so, so this is a no view command in Raycast basically where you just press enter once. You could even assign a hotkey to this if you want to be even quicker, for probably example. Should, I probably yeah, should yeah, do yeah, that, yeah. yeah. And I also have multiple Chrome profiles, but this extension always opens it on my essentially my work profile. Right. So yeah, this is a... Yeah, yeah, because normally it would open in your previously used yes, profile, exactly. right? Whatever window that was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you've yeah. got your four URLs in there. Yep, yep. Ah, this is what I wanted to see. Profile so you've got three? profile three. Yeah, this is yeah. your work profile, right? Exactly, exactly. I see. Yeah. And then? You pass some flags to open in that profile. Honestly, beyond this, I just let Claude do it. It was very easy. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. I that's talked amazing. to Claude. I, oh, I want this amazing. custom extension. I want these are the tabs that I want to open. Create it. And, and that's it. And then you open it in Google Chrome. Yeah, yeah. It's quite simple, to be honest. What, 36 lines of code? It's very simple, yeah. I think a lot of people are sleeping on uh, building Your extensions with AI. The Raycast API is so simple yeah, that yeah, yeah. building an extension with AI is like, super easy. There's yeah. not that much that can go wrong. Yeah, yeah, I did it correctly on the first try. And Amazing. then I kind of wanted to add the profile part yeah. later on. So I kind of went back and Man, talked about... I love this. Yeah. Okay, let's see. What else do I have going on? So. Other than that, I you know I I go to the marketing calendar a lot. I recently only recently started um, you know, knowing about the AI features at the AI hackathon that we did together. One of the community members showed me a trick where he just was able to pass the clipboard into the AI chat, and it was like I think he had the the raw list of all the projects in the clipboard and then he asked it to kind of randomize the order and format it nicely in a in a bullet points in markdown format yeah i thought that was really cool that's that's something i like you can just reference clipboard with yeah so was, there are a couple of ways to do yeah. this if you want i can quickly show you oh, so yeah. if you're not using ai too much yeah in raycast i think some of these little tips are useful because you know using chat gpt or claude is really good mm -hmm. they're amazing at what they do and mm -hmm. i, I I think like most people are using them. Mm -hmm. But the good thing about having AI in Raycast is mm -hmm. that it has access to like extra things that are right. at your operating system right, level. Right. Do you use clipboard history? I do, yeah, sometimes. If you search for clipboard history Can here. I try it real quick? So if yeah, I yeah. copy this, the list of all the four URLs that I have opened. Yeah. Um, and then clipboard history. And say you have this URL, mm -hmm. and for whatever reason you want to send that to AI, mm -hmm. and you can do Command K, and then there should be a send to AI chat. Send to AI. So chat. that opens a new AI chat for you oh, wow, with wow. that URL right, already right, right. sent to right. it, and then from and here I you can, can send tell it. whatever. Or another way to do it is that from the AI chat mm -hmm. window you can do Command K, mm -hmm. and then type in attach. There you go, add attachments, oh. and then clipboard history. Right. And then you can see your history from there, right. attach stuff to right, it. Right, well. right, right. So that's one way that you can use AI chat with clipboard history, mm -hmm. and even with a bunch of other stuff. But yeah. Wow, that's nice. Let's see, other than that, uh, obviously emojis, who doesn't use emojis? I, I use Raycast emojis. Oh yeah? It's it's weird that when you when you are sitting here, it's like, what is the shortcut to opening emojis? Like, yeah. I do it all the time, like, yeah. w without even thinking. And I, I'm like, wait, was it control option? I don't remember. But uh, It should see. be control, command, space. Okay, I don't know. Okay. No. Oh, no. Let's see. Control, command. Crazy. Yeah. How did I forget that? I don't know. So you obviously use I emoji use picker a lot. all the time, all yeah. the time, all the time. Yeah, obviously I replaced it with the default emoji shortcut, right? Yeah. That's the, that's the shortcut that I can remember. <laughs> it's like, yeah. But yeah, I use this all the time. It's, it's my go-to. Do you use window management at all? I actually use rectangle. So okay. it's, it's a separate 
program for yeah, that. Yeah, familiar with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was using Rectangle yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because I was already using Rectangle when I first installed Raycast. So yeah. I, was, I mean, yeah. yeah, of course, you don't need to change. But if you ever feel like changing, a lot of people do change just mm-hmm. so they have less apps mm-hmm. installed. Mm-hmm. And like Raycast can already do that. Mm-hmm. And I, I sound yeah. like I'm preaching it here. No, 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 no. I just no. want to kind of uh, show you and hopefully yeah, teach yeah, yeah. other people watching yeah, so let's that something. if you type in extensions extension then go to the second one that's it this one uh, the first uh, one first sorry. one extension you, you change yeah and then if you search for window management that's it okay now if you select the first one here yep. you see that if you scroll down a little bit mm-hmm. there is this thing called presets mm. and presets kind of allow you oh. to sort of like easily migrate from a different window right, management right, 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 uh, right, app. Right. So if one day you feel like oh you want to sort of minimize how many apps you have mm-hmm, mm-hmm. then you can set rectangle and then you have mm-hmm. the same hotkeys right, right, so you right. don't have to like oh. retrain your brain. Oh, But obviously nice. you don't have to do this there's no pressure. I was like, I can just do that and then un- uninstall Rectangle and it'll work the same. Yeah, just, oh. you know, a lot of people like to have less apps. I'm so. doing it right now. And then Raycast can uninstall apps as well, right? I think I recently saw this on Twitter. Yeah. That, like, obviously when you uninstall stuff, you want to make sure it uninstalls all the system folders and this and that, right? Exactly. All the junk stuff. And Raycast can basically do that, right? Yeah, so a lot of people don't know about I this. I guess now that I've uh, kind of set, set this oh, up... Oh, wow, I feel bad, man. No, no, no. Uninstall? Is it uninstall? No, you search for the app first. Oh, rectangle. And then you do Command-K. Right. And then you do uninstall. Right. So I guess rectangle's gone, but I could still... Oh, yeah, it's the same. It's the same thing, card. nothing changes. Wow. Just one less app. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, wow, this is great. Why do you open Finder so often? Because when you open Finder, you go into your root path, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I download a lot of stuff from Figma, you know, Figma assets. So I also dump all the uh, video assets in my download folder because after a certain while, it gets auto-deleted, which which I want. So yeah. a lot of, lot of assets live in my downloads folder. And that's where I typically uh, try to go to. Okay. But obviously, uh, like you mentioned, not every single time I land in the... downloads folder when I open find your own yeah. so yeah 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 so I can really relate to right. having to go to the downloads folder. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. folder I go to the most right, right especially right. for us because like we're usually downloading assets from the design team yeah, and stuff yeah. I got another tip for you yeah yeah which please, I think please. you're gonna love yeah 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 so there is an extension called download manager uh, if you're typing just store that's right. it and then download manager Downloads manager. Mm-hmm. That's it. Now install that. That's actually made mm-hmm. by Thomas a long time ago. Oh, okay. All right. So now, if you can, you can pop up to root, mm-hmm. and if you search for, yeah, you see already giving you some suggestions. Right, right, right. You can see show latest download. Right. And this one is interesting because right, it right, always right. opens the downloads folder. Right, 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 right. right, right. It skips everything else. Yeah, it just yeah, opens yeah. the downloads folder. Nice. With the latest file yeah, selected. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. So what I have done is I have added a hotkey mm-hmm. to this specific command, mm-hmm. which is option D. Right. Option B D. for downloads. Right, and right, And option right. because it's like a, an unused hotkey. Right, right, right. So all the time, like, when I need anything from downloads, mm-hmm. I just do option D. Mm-hmm. I don't even open Raycast. Right, right, right. And I'm already there. Right, right, right. And oh. so that's like, man... Once I got used to this, right, right, right. I feel like that's oh, probably the combination I hit the most. It's a game changer. You know? right, right. I feel like using hotkeys for commands that you open frequently, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can, in, in the long run, it saves you a lot of time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, especially mm-hmm. for us that we're opening downloads. Yeah. Dude, that was great. This it was, was great, um, yeah. It was, I love seeing like how, how you're using Raycast. At the end of the day, people always think that you have to use so much of mm-hmm. Raycast. And I think this is a perfect example mm-hmm, mm-hmm. of how You can just use a few things, mm-hmm. and if they help you work better and be more productive, then mm. the, that's all there is to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This has been amazing. Yeah, Thank you, thanks, man. Yeah, thanks and thanks for, for having over. me. Yeah, home. thanks for coming over to this office. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. man. The first guest in this office. Thanks so yeah, much, yeah, man. Yeah. I appreciate it.